Hi everyone, so welcome to this uh, little uh, tip of the week. So uh, we want to talk about 3D interconnect or not. Uh, the way I explain this is you now have two import engines inside of SolidWorks uh, when it comes to STEP files, IGES, whatever your supplier is, is giving you guys. Uh, I just want to be clear uh, that SOLIDWORKS has now two import engine inside uh, to convert uh, step files and IGES and whatever uh, extension that you receive from your supplier. So the trick here is pretty simple. When you go into your uh, system option and you go inside of import, the trick here is if I uncheck this box, I'm going to use engine number one. OK, uh, one of the engine of SOLIDWORKS to transfer uh, imported geometry. And if I toggle this box, I'm going to use the second one and I'll prove this. OK, I have a very good example over here. So I'll uncheck uh, this box. So no 3D interconnect and I'm going to open a step file over here. So I'm going to use engine number one uh, to um, to open a step file. Okay, so let's take this one and we'll click on open. Okay, so right now I've used engine number one. Okay, as you can see here, there is uh, errors inside of uh, this file. Okay, so the geometry has not been recognized completely by SOLIDWORKS. I'm pretty sure uh, every one of you guys uh, already seen this. Uh, you import a step file, it's missing faces, it's uh, little triangles, little errors here and there. So I've used engine number one. So let's close this file. Don't save. Go inside of my system option. Go on import again, and if I enable 3D interconnect, I'm going to use the second engine for imports. So file open. Let's open this step again. It's the same step file. Okay. The only thing different with uh, the second engine with 3D interconnect is I would really recommend you to break link okay if you don't break link over here okay you always always carry to file the SOLIDWORKS file and you're still connected to the original step file so instead of always moving around with two files okay uh, the trick here is only to break link Break the link, yes, break the link. Now I have imported bodies like this, but the difference here is there's no error, okay? Uh, the second engine, import engine inside of SOLIDWORKS actually um, use a different code, okay, to import. I wanna be very clear over here. I have had a lot of success with engine number one. I have a lot of success with the engine number two, and I have no success with both. Okay, the only thing here is when you when you import uh, a geometry that has errors. Okay, just know that you have a second engine to at least try to see if uh, the original file is corrupted or uh, sometimes it does work. Okay, as you can see, uh, my example over here, the second engine didn't didn't have no errors. I'm not saying 3D interconnect is better. I'm just saying you have now two possibilities of converting uh, files, imported files. So that was my tip of the week. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.